Hello everyone and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekend messages reading. And remember, these are mini tarot readings where we look at the potential or the energies that are around you for the next few days as the readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released and they won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always so without further ado i wish you a wonderful weekend <coughs> i wish you a wonderful weekend as always and let's get straight into these readings gemini let's see what we have for you this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus and I am using the Druid Tarot deck. So what do we have as a message for Gemini please, Angel Spirits Guides, next few days. Okay, what do we have for Gemini? One card has fallen out so we'll go with it. We have the Six of Pentacles here. Two of Swords, some kind of decision. The Nine of Pentacles. And we have the High Priestess energy, intuition. Yeah, in this energy, to make this decision, you're being told to trust your intuition. Some of you, it might well be to do with some kind of offer in money, career, finances. For others of you, this could be a relationship. Because the, the Two of Swords can be this energy of having difficulty facing something here. Or, again, maybe not having... Maybe there's a decision to make to be made, but somebody hasn't got all the details right now, hasn't got all the information they need to make a decision. But generally there is an energy, there is a strong intuitive pull. Or you're certainly being pulled in a specific in one direction towards one path with that two of swords energy. And sometimes it can be that reluctance to listen to our intuition, which is why the high priestess is here was saying you need to listen to your intuition here because your intuition is guiding you so it's almost kind of like a double message of that really so what is it to do with well we have the six of pentacles six of pentacles in money terms can be somebody reaching out offering you something in money career finances so that could be anything from jobs business opportunities can be a sum of money as well um Yeah, and it might well be that there's some decision with regard to what you're being offered, whether you think it's enough. Sometimes there can be this energy between these two cards of, I'm not sure it's enough for what I want, you know. Again, because we've got the Nine of Pentacles right next to it. Somebody, you know, wanting to be really abundant, really feel like, you know, they've got all the money, the success that they've worked to achieve here. Their hard work delivers the fruits of their labor, the, the monetary reward here. It's a material success, abundant energy, the Nine of Pentacles, through sheer hard work. So there might well be some kind of decision that you have to make and you, need, you might need more time to think about it. I mean, this can be just that energy of, I need to get the information. I need to just weigh things up here in terms of whether I accept this or not. It might well be for some of you, you know, you wanted more money than what was being offered here. Or you wanted a certain package that may well hasn't come to your standard or what you wanted or what you expected. It uh, can also be to do with a sum of money as well. Now for others of you, yes, this can be the breadcrumb card. This energy of somebody offering you something, but... Is it an empty gesture? You know, is that feeling of, am I being breadcrumbed? Am I being given breadcrumbs? You know, not put, uh, they're, they're offering me enough to keep me interested, but I'm not sure whether they are, they're offering me enough to, you know, 
in terms of what I deserve. You know, they're not putting the energy and they're at the effort into this relationship in terms of what I deserve. So again, for some of you, there could be some kind of decision on that basis because the nine of, of pentacles in that respect is somebody who is not afraid of being independent on their own. Somebody who stands on their own two feet, whether they're in a relationship or not with the nine of pentacles, this is, this is what I deserve and nothing less than that. I have to feel abundant. I have to feel valued. I have to, you know, this is self-esteem, self-worth and, you know, getting the value that I deserve, the reward that I deserve, the energy that I deserve, you know, and, and it's that kind of thing. So there's a feeling of this is what I deserve and nothing less than that. So maybe some decision in terms of what you're being offered. And I feel maybe in terms of a relationship of whatever kind. Again, the high priestess is your intuition is guiding you. So I certainly feel in terms of making this decision or choice while you're weighing something up. And there's an energy of being in two minds here. Your intuition is strong. So trust your instinct. Don't don't not look at it, you know, don't not listen to it because your intuition is is guiding you in the right direction in terms of, you know, guiding you, I feel in an empowered way. That's what I have for you, Gemini. But very good in the money. I mean, we have two money cards here. So in terms of money, career, finances, you know, this is a great energy of... of you're certainly being offered something here. I feel it's whether you want it or not, or whether it's what you wanted or what you expected. There could be some negotiation here. That could work out in both ways as well. You know, whether it's relationship or whether it's in terms of money. For some of you, there could be some negotiation from what I'm seeing across these cards. You know, it might well be there is a bit of negotiation going on. We have monkey and a child. Don't take life too seriously. It's taken a while to scan in today. I think it's on weekend mode already, my, my camera. <laughs> and we have whale, tenderness. Show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. So for some of you, it might well be, it can be maybe a relationship too. For those of you, it will be a message for money and career. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just as I said that, the Koi Carp came out, which is abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around and through you. And abundance is our own abundance. This is an abundant energy because somebody knows their own energetic abundance, what they deserve and what they don't deserve. And they make that happen in their external environment as a result of that in terms of material success. But this is self-value, self-worth and nothing less than that in relationships. So, yeah, I mean, I feel Gemini. For some of you, this could be a relationship. For others of you, you're being offered something, but you need to, I think you're in, you're in two minds now. There could even be some negotiation. You know, there could be some toing and froing going on here in terms of coming, getting a conclusion yeah that's what i have for you i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe and i will see you next time thank you